Have you ever wondered how that cream actually moisturizes your skin? Or how a lipstick makes those lips so glossy and plump? Or what gives that shimmery, sparkly finish to those bronzers and blushes? Well, you're about to find out, and the answer is a whole lot grosser than you may have first thought. Brilliant news! Number 1. Collagen this ingredient supposedly plumps your lips and can be injected beneath the skin as an anti-wrinkle treatment or taken orally as a health supplement. However, the only real source of collagen is from slaughterhouse waste products such as sinews, cartilage, bones and teeth. These waste products are boiled and a gelatin layer forms on top. This gelatin is then purified by removing unwanted fats and salts before adding it to your favourite lip plumping lipstick. Number 2. Guanine what gives that shimmering, sparkly finish to that nail polish, lipstick or mascara? Well, it is probably an ingredient called guanine or CL75170. Although guanine can be synthesized, its most common origin is crushed fish scales or bird poop. Number 3. Lanolin if you use waterproof makeup products or have dry skin or chapped lips, before you reach for your mascara or lip balm, you may want to check the ingredients list for something called lanolin. The ingredient is actually produced naturally by sheep. They secrete it from their sebaceous glands to create a waxy layer that keeps their woolly coats dry. After shearing the sheep, the wool is washed and the lanolin extracted. Number 4. Carmine Red or pink lipstick, blush or nail polish will generally contain something called carmine or cochineal. This ingredient is usually obtained from the female cochineal beetle. This beetle is native to South America and the southwest of North America and feeds on prickly pear cacti. The fruit gives the beetle an intense red colour that is then extracted from its body and eggs by drying and crushing the insects and then mixing them with aluminium or calcium salt to make the carmine dye. Number 5. Sodium Tallowate what gives your shampoo, cleanser, soap or cream its moisturizing properties? Well, on the ingredients list, you'll probably see either sodium taloate, stearic acid, oleic acid, lauric acid, palmitic acid or myristic acid. These are refined fatty acids that generally come from cow, sheep or pig fat that is extracted by boiling their carcasses and removing the fat that rises to the top. Number 6. Glucosamine Glucosamine appears in many anti-aging products and moisturizers because it apparently enhances hyaluronic acid and collagen production. Most glucosamine used in the cosmetic industry is extracted from shellfish. Crab, shrimp and lobster shells are crushed and ground up and then demineralized in vinegar. Then the protein is removed using lye or potassium hydroxide. Number 7. Keratin You've probably seen keratin written in bold letters on your shampoo bottle and maybe you know that it's actually present in our own hair and nails. But the keratin in your shampoo actually comes from grinding up animal horns, hooves, nails and hair. Some products only use keratin from bird feathers because they claim it gives your hair a smoother and silkier feel. Other weird beauty ingredients include placenta, which appears in the ingredients as placental polypeptide protein, animal pea, which appears as urea or carbamide, shark liver oil, which appears as squalene or squalane, and snail slime, which appears as helix aspersa mula. In conclusion, if you want to look pretty, just grind up something gross, give it a fancy name and slap it on your face. Which one of these products surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments. The mirror on the wall say I'm getting stronger. And yo, the mirror don't lie. And yo, the mirror don't lie. Look at me, take a picture, it'll last longer. The mirror on the wall say I'm getting stronger.